What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to a new video. I thought I'd do a live stream. I was gonna do, I've actually recorded a video, but I thought I'd just go live anyway, because I'll uh, get some of your comments on this and questions while I'm doing this. Um, but as you saw from my live stream yesterday, I tattooed with these two machines, the Bishop Wand Shader and the Bishop Wand Liner. Um, yeah, I'll wait until you guys have come on or some a few people have joined in um but yeah to kick start this off i'm just gonna say i have to say well thanks for bishop for sending the me these two machines these are fucking brilliant um i'll try not to swear on this live stream but yeah um i have to say first off these machines are incredible to be honest they're really well made and they're so light and comfortable to use um, normally with like other machines I'll use, uh, like after like three, four hours, I'm sort of starting to, to feel the buzz in my hand, my fingertips go a bit numb or something, or I'll, uh, what's up guys. And, uh, yeah, I, I sort of feel like maybe the back, the back end of the machines like hitting my hand or something and it's feeling a bit uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, because these are like obviously pen style machines, they, they feel really comfortable to use. Um, there's hardly no vibration with them. They're so lightweight and the, the, the grip sizes are just quite nice and easy to use. Um, they're not too bulky, so you don't have a lot of back end weight. So it's, it's just, I think they're perfect machines. Um, before we get onto the, to the review, I did want to um, just point out these disposable grips. Now this is a new one, it's not an old one, obviously because that'd be disgusting. Um, please smash a like on the video, guys, if you're watching. If you're new, subscribe. That uh, will help the channel out, especially. Um, so yeah, these are the uh, the um, disposable one grips. They're specially made one grips for, for these one machines. Um, you take these metal ones off that come with the machine, like so. Uh, these are autoclavable. You can't autoclave this machine part obviously because there's motors and stuff and and that will ruin that so you can't all autoclave these um but they're wipeable um you can wipe wipe them all um which is what i do with disinfectant etc etc so it doesn't contaminate any clients and then you can stick this in an autoclave but i don't use these because i like to use disposable because it's the safest way i think um so yeah so i buy these disposable disposable grips that are pr pretty much exactly the the same as these but they're tiny tiny bit more fatter these do come in different sizes i have the what size is this i have the uh 1.25 inch which is pretty much the same as the stock one it just feels nice in my in my hand um but yeah these just go on to the machine like this same as the grip that comes with the machine and then obviously it's still got the same um the same uses as the normal grip would so you twist the machine to uh put the needles in and out depending on what you want to do um <clears throat> so yeah i just wanted to quickly go over that because i did get a few comments saying oh you didn't wrap your machine blah, blah blah um so i just wanted to explain myself that these are disposable so after your client as soon as you've as soon as you've tattooed with this, you throw it away in the uh, in the contaminated waste, along with your used ink and needles, etc. Um, obviously, you put your needles in the needle bin. But yeah, I wanted to give a review on these quickly um, after using these a couple of times, and I have to say um, they're amazing. Now I found myself using the shader wand more than the the liner one because i don't use lines as i would it, it it depends on style i think when you buy these two machines it's nice to have a tattoo machine in your arsenal i suppose in case you get asked and, and you want to you know um do something different one day maybe you want to do like a, tra a traditional piece for someone or you want to do like mandala kind of style work and you'd need something that i put in lines like not like easy as hell and this machine does that 
um, is a really, really, really nice machine for lining. Um, it's a five mil stroke, so it does hurt more, believe it or not. Um, cause it's, cause, yeah, because it is a five mil stroke, it does hurt more than the 3.5 mil stroke. I don't know why, it's just maybe how hard it hits, I don't know, but it does hit the skin quite hard. This isn't a beginner tattoo machine, and I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, yeah, because of my style, I feel like I don't, I wouldn't use this machine as much as someone that did neo traditional stuff or um, old school kind of stuff or uh, sort of mandala kind of style work um, or dot work and stuff like that. So that's why I find myself using the shader. Um, a lot. Someone just said, uh, I still think the shade is better. Well, that's that's great, man. If you uh, feel like your style and your uh, I mean, Shane are really, really good tattoo machines as well, you know. Like, I'm not, like, comparing them um, against each other. I'm just saying what I'm saying after using these tattoo machines in, in, in the way I tattoo. And, uh, and yeah, so I just wanted to give you an honest review. Um, so, yeah, I find myself using the shader machine a lot more because I don't use big, big needle groupings. I use three-round liners and, and a five-round shader mainly in my in my work along with the um the bug pin shader needles and the mags and stuff so um this hits at a 3.5 stroke and it's so soft and consistent it's insane um just the way this thing's been made it's so well balanced in the way it's made it's so well you know it has like it's probably the perfect tattoo machine in terms of shading and what I would need, um, you know, I do sort of like soft black and gray work and stuff like that. And, and, and to push a, a three round liner, it doesn't hit the skin too hard. So, you, you know, you're not, you, you're not risking overworking the skin and damaging the skin. And, um, it's a really, really nice all rounder machine. Um, I would recommend this to beginners. I wouldn't recommend this to beginners because this does hit really hard. Um, and it, it it can be um, it can damage the skin quite easily because of how how hard it hits. I found myself lining with this machine, and because it's hitting so hard and so and so well, I'm like it almost kind of scares me because it's got so much power and and stuff like that. Um, I have used the Zion, and I I couldn't get on with it to be honest. I couldn't get on with the Zion. Um, so yeah, for me this is the next the next thing uh the next big thing for sort of black and gray kind of uh shading and style tattoos um fine line kind of stuff uh because of how well it consistently hits um yeah it, it's it, it it's just made so well and um i was going to say something but i forgot what i was going to say but yeah, I, 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 for me, I think I'm going to find myself using the shader more to do my kind of style work. Um, uh, I mean, all the, you know, it, it has it has its downsides to, to these machines where, you know, you can't change the stroke on it. It is a fixed stroke, so you can't change the stroke. Um, obviously, you have to buy each machine for the different style stroke, which is, you know, the packer, I think, 4.2 mil i'm not sure on that don't quote me this is the shader with the 3.5 and then obviously this is the five someone asked me on the in the comments yesterday can you shade with the liner no you can't you cannot shade with a five mil stroke machine it, it, it will not end well it hits too hard it's going to be impossible to get a real smooth gradual soft you know blend um uh and and because this is a 3.5 mil stroke the way it's been made and the way it's been set up it shades perfectly um someone also in the live comments said as well um now if you watch this channel you'll know that you know um avid watchers of this channel you'll you'll know how i tattoo and and how many passes i have to to make on different people's skin to allow this the ink to get in there and and for me to move on from that part you'll know how much time i've spent on that kind of part um, and I feel like it's so effortless in using these machines that 
I find myself getting to a point where I'm, I, I want it to look exactly how I, I envisioned it in my head before I attack that part of the tattoo that I can move on quickly because this is just done exactly what I needed it to do. Um, and it, yeah, it, it, it just does exactly what I need it, need it to do. Um, and that is an honest, honest review of this machine. Um, now there are drawbacks, like I said, you can't change the stroke, but I don't think you'd need to change the stroke. Uh, well for me anyway, um, unless I was to go into line in the, the only times you would probably need to change the stroke is if between line in and shading. Now you've got a liner tattoo machine that they've made specifically for lining and you've got a shading tattoo machine that you can use to shade and potentially to line with. So, um, Obviously, this doesn't line as well as this because this is made for lining and the five mil stroke will smash the lines in crisp and clean. Um, but this, yeah, I mean, they're, they're not cheap. Each machine, I think here, they're about maybe 600 pound. I think they're about maybe 700, between 700 and 800 dollars in the US. Um so so yeah they're not they're not cheap but if you if you maintain these and look after them they are going to last you you know however long the motor gives up and these mo motors in here i'm not sure of the name of them but i know they use top quality motors bishop always have so um so yeah let me uh grab a couple uh it is quite late up here over in the uk I have them both. They are nice. Uh, it says Jeremiah Hernandez. Uh, what's up? Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you all a quick review on uh, these two machines before I um, settle down for bed because uh, I was just looking over some some stuff on my computer here and um, doing some emails and stuff, and I just wanted to uh, give you all a uh, a thing. Best numbing cream to use? I'd use TKTX. That's what I use. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think the Master Pro even competes in any sort of league with these machines. The Master Pro is it's a cheap machine for a reason. Um, that's just that's just my that's just my uh, my opinion. Um, if you use obviously you use the Tor, the Master Pro. If you use one of these machines, different league, completely different league. The gold one is the Packer, isn't it? I haven't used the Packer, so I'm not going to give my opinion on it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a it's a slightly bigger um, it's a slightly bigger stroke than the the shader. Uh, okay, so I think it's a four point two, maybe I'm not sure. Maybe it's a three point eight. I'm not sure, but the shader's got a three point five. Um, so John Guerrero says shader versus the Edgex shader by by far. I mean. Not by far, but this definitely wins. A hundred percent. This 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 one hundred percent wins in terms of how soft you can get your shading with this. I mean, you don't have to worry about anything with this machine. You plug it in, and you you are set. There's no give that you have to worry about. And I think the give on the I think the give on the um, the uh, the Edge X. It's, I just think it's a bit of a gimmick, to be honest. I think it was one of the first machines that, that put the give on there. And it, it's not much difference at all when when using the give and uh, done up, the screw done up and undone. It, it, there's not much difference. Um, does the 3.5 do color work? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, the 3.5 does every. Uh, the 3.5 is actually in the middle, really, because it's a really good all rounder it can line and it can shade its main use is to shade um but uh john uh guerrero uh, shader versus edge x i would pick this shader all day long and and you know how how much i love the the edge x um what do i think of the zion i think it's it's pretty good um it is a pretty good machine but i i i can't really get on with it because I don't know. I I just felt it. It it's a good machine, but I just don't like. I feel like this is way more consistent in how it runs and how it hits. 
I think the consistently the consistency in this machine is just so good. It's so good. Like you have to get one, or or if your friend's got one, try it because it is it is so good. Um, the best bishop machine. YouTube Hernandez says, "What's the best bishop machine in your opinion?" Um, I mean, I haven't tried a lot of them. I've tried what have I tried? Have I tried the Phantom? Is it is it the Phantom? I've tried the V two. I'm not sure. It was what it was my first ever machine. I can't even remember what it was now. But it had it didn't use an RCA cable. Um, I've only used three. I've used it, and this one by far is the best one. Um, I mean, it, because it's in a pen. Um, like when I first you when I first switched from this the liner, when I lined something and then switched to this you notice how soft it is and it's almost like you want it you you want it to grip the skin more because it feels like it's just floating above the skin and you're not penetrating the skin enough to put the ink in but when you actually when you actually like sort of tell your brain to sort of like start right okay I'm I'm using the shader now and then go sort of you almost have to tell your brain that you have to get out of feeling how massively this grips the skin and and packs ink into the skin because the power the power difference from a five stroke to a 3.5 is massive it's massive in can in terms of feel um and the 3.5 it, it, it because it's such a big difference between the feel of the machines and how powerful the five hits the skin it feels like the shade is like not doing anything, but it is. Um, Mystic Ink says, I just got the 3.5 and I love it. Um, it's so lightweight. I used it once so far and I love it. Yeah, I've used it a, cu a couple of times and it's so comfortable. You 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 don't understand how important it is to, fit, to have a machine that feels comfortable tattooing for three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours with. Obviously you have breaks, but when you're tattooing, like I... I'm quite fast at tattooing, so um, I'll probably tattoo non-stop from start to finish within four hours normally. And if I'm sat in a single position for four hours, you know, your body's going to, well, your hand's going to hate it, your arms, your hand's going to cramp up and stuff. But it's so comfortable. When I was using it yesterday, it was so, so comfortable. And I used it for a good three and a half hours. Um <clears throat> Hasty says ratings on the Hummingbird Gen Two for the first machine. Um, I don't even. I haven't even used one, so I can't really give my opinion on that, man. Um, YouTube Hernandez, no worries, brother. Um, so look, Rockus Deboa says I have the Zion. I think it's too soft. Can't get used to it. Yeah, it's it's one thing. Do you know when you use the Spirit? If you've ever used a Shane Spirit, um, it feels because it's got such a short sort of um, cycle. It feels it feels like it's super soft hitting, but because that's quite a rigid cycle, it's quite hard hitting in the sense there's no give in the machine. You can still feel something, but with the with with the Zion pen, it it, it feels so soft, and it's I feel like it's not. I feel like you really have to know what you're doing for it to to be used really nicely and well, and to achieve a tattoo really really well um it's really hard I, I know what i'm trying to say in my brain but it's really hard to explain it but it, it feels like it does hit too soft um it almost feels like i need to hang the needle out a bit more to feel something it's it's very strange i i, I just couldn't get used to the feeling of it um so uh so yeah can i open the machine i can open the machine well you can take the grip off which is uh, what I do every day. So this is the machine. It's inside of it. This is the shader. Um, so yeah, it's all. And then that's where you have the, uh, if you can see that inside there. No, probably not. That's just, it's literally, that's all it is. It's all loop, lubed up in there and stuff. That's where, it's so simple. The design's so simple, but it, it just, and then obviously this is the, the normal, uh, grip and this is the disposable grip i use 
slots straight over and it's ready to go. It's, it's, but you know when you're using the, this machine, you know when you're using this machine that Bishop have really thought about everything. They've really gone back to the drawing board on everything and just designed a tattoo machine that is just, I think, in my opinion, right now, the perfect tattoo machine. Obviously, you ha you've got, it's, it's almost like they've tried to, like most companies try to put everything into a tattoo machine to, to create the perfect one tattoo machine. Where, where Bishop have done it differently is that they've taken bits that they don't need to put in there and they've just separated, right, what do you, you, they've gone back to the fundamentals of tattooing, lining, shading and packing. That's the three things you will do in a tattoo procedure and they've mastered every sector, which is why they've bought out three machines. They're not asking you to buy three machines. They're asking you what you want to achieve with your style of tattooing. And for me, it's soft black and grey and, uh, and, you know, fine line kind of work. And it's, uh, it's it, they, I'm blown away to be honest. I, I needed to make this video because I needed to uh, tell you guys about it. And I, I did promise you guys that I would um, do as many reviews on this channel as possible. Um, so yeah, Adam Scott. Yeah, man, I'll hopefully be back up and running soon. Um, yeah, you could watch videos from Bishop on YouTube. Uh, Bruno Vainigdig. They explain a lot. Do you know, um, Franco, he is a G as well. He's so fucking sick. The whole team over there is... Uh... Uh, Bruno Venedig says, uh, why is the packer not the better mach the machine between? Uh, if you've ever tried to, to shade um, with a, a 4.2 stroke, you'll know why. You'll know why. Um, Frankie says, I'm going to buy the Bishop over the injector. I mean, the, uh, I've used a lot of tattoo machines. Um, and you know, the one thing I hate, the one thing that confuses me the most, and I know what I'm talking about in, in the sense of anatomy on sh different strokes and why different strokes do this and why you'd need different needle groupings for this. I know everything, what everything needs to, to do to achieve a certain thing. But one thing about certain tattoo machines is that they have so many different setups, like the Inkjet to Flight Nano Elite, which is a very, very good machine. The motor's insane. It goes from like seven, well, not seven volts, but it goes from like eight or nine volts to like 18 volts. So that's just insane. Um, and it, you know, it, it, it is a really, really nice tattoo machine to use, but there's so many options. They've got, well, they've got four bars that you, you can use. Um, and like on each bar, well, they've got this, the black bar, which is the rigid bar, which is what I found I used most. And every tattoo artist that I've seen use that, like big tattoo artists as well, at different convent, like world like renowned tattoo conventions like London Tattoo Convention, etc., uh, etc. Et like Henri Strom, he uses the injector Flight Nano Elite, and he uses the black bar because it's just I don't know. It, like he he just says it's it. He just wants one sort of setting. Whereas on the injector as well, you've got another three bars that you can turn and twist for a medium so you've got like a, a soft medium and a hard bar but then within those soft medium and hard bars you've got different settings within them settings and it, it just gets so confusing so i was like you know what like bishop have made it so simple and they've 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 dissected each part of what a tattoo procedure involves and perfected it and that and that's what i like that, that is what i like um i'm I'm a really fan. I'm a really big fan of uh, Shane as well. Um, but now I don't use any Shane equipment in my tattoo setup. Uh, I, I used to. Um, 
I found that the uh, well, apart from the, the their mag, their ne their needles, the uh, Shane tattoo needles, the the curved mags and stuff, and their shader needles are very, 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 very good. Probably the best. Um, but I have to say again, I used the uh, the V two needles from Bishop Da Vinci range, and they were very good. They were very, very, very good. In fact, I did the whole tattoo with those uh, with those ne needles and. They're very good. Um, the only thing about Shane needles that I don't like is the liners. I think the liners are shit, really shit. Um, I use the Quadrant liners because they are the best cartridge liners that I've ever found. And I've used, there you go, Mr. Vertex says, yeah, I don't use their liners. I think their liners are fucking dreadful. They move around, they wobble around. You can't get a fucking straight line. It's just stupid. Um, but their shade, their shading needles. But there you go, another one. They they wiggle exactly. You know my point. Um, the shading needles, they're very good. <laughs> they're very good. They're very, very, very good. Um, JL Meek says, "Bro, I'm telling you, elite needles. I've never heard of them actually." Um, yeah, Mister Vertex says, "Love Shayan's curved mags though. They're very good. They're probably the best needle I've ever used, to be honest." Um, but it would it would be very because I've used the V1 needles from the Da Vinci and they were good but they they weren't my favourite I sort of used the pack of them and then never used them again but these V2 needles that Da Vinci have brought out they're m much more higher quality and I tell you what how they're made I reckon it's close I reckon it's close between the Shein and the uh, V2 needles. Um, <clears throat> I need to send you a pack to wake you up. Yeah. Send me a pack to wake me up, man. That'd be cool. Da Vinci's good. I got a five round line and it was bad. Yeah. Um, it, it, I, I'm not sure if the V2 needles are out now. Um, I'm not sure if they're out. They sent me a, a couple of boxes of the V2 needles. Um, and they, um, yeah, they they are a lot better than the first batch that they, they brought out. <coughs> yeah. Um, so... I tell myself secret says you don't need all those options and headaches. Just sell me the injector. Yeah. Um, so Tyler Romero says, what three needle groupings do you use the most? I know three round liner, but what else is your go-to? So the needles I use in my setup every single time is a three round liner from Quadrant. I use a five round shader from either. I like the shaders that uh, the five the round shaders from Shein. So I, I, I'll either go like well, I have a five round shade and a seven round shader. So I have three three round. Right, let's let's do this nice. I have a three round liner, a normal thirty five three round liner from um, uh, Quadrant because they are the best liners for me I've ever used and I've ever found. And I have been looking for a good liner in cartridge form, and that is by far the best one I've ever used to this day in five years of tattooing and then i have the five round shader from shayan <clears throat> or da vinci now v2 though only the v2s not not the v1s and i have a seven round shader from shayan uh, or da vinci v2 <clears throat> um no bug pin just normal then i have a bug pin um i have a bug pin uh 11 curve mag from Shane or Da Vinci V2. <clears throat> and then I have a 15 bug pin curve mag. Uh, da Vinci or Shane, probably Shane. And then I have a, um, what else do I have? It's either a 21, is it a 21 or a 27? Depends on what size of tattoo I'm doing. If I'm doing a portrait, I won't use that big of a needle. But if I'm doing like leg work and background work where I'd need to like shade a big like background or something in like a leg tattoo or something or e even an arm or something. So say, say if I was doing something like this, like this kind of shade in here, I'd use like a big needle just so it's quick. But um, um, yeah, maybe like a, 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 bu a bug pin 27 or something like that. That's what I would use. But normally I... I would use those four or five needles. Um, <clears throat> do you have to use the brand or machine with the same brand of needle? No, you don't. That was from Black Sheep Rides. No, you don't. Um, I use Shane with these, and this is Bishop, and it works amazing. But 
Um, I mean, all needles are working all uh, cartridge tattoo machines now anyway. So uh, Black Claw cartridges are available now. Uh, what sort of texture would you use a curved bug pin for? Uh, sh smooth shading, mate. <coughs> like uh, a face or something like that. Um, what voltage is good for the Bishop shader and which power pack do you have? That was from Rockers to Bias. So I have... Um, I have the... Uh, the Econ EMS 420 power pack which is very good i've had a few power packs as well i've had power packs from critical they're very expensive and i fucking hate them i hate them every single power pack i've had has blown up within a year <clears throat> and you pay all, all all that money for a for a fucking power pack and it fucking blows up so it's very very annoying very annoying um, but the Econ EMS 420, I've got two of them, um, and they are amazing. I've had this now for three years and it's just, it doesn't get hot. It doesn't, you know, it gets a tiny bit warm, but nothing crazy. Um, and yeah, it's amazing. Um, and, um, what else was your other one? The, the, Voltage. Oh, the voltage I use for the shader. So with well, yeah, I'll do I'll do the shader first because that was your question. Um, the shader I use I used eight volts I think yesterday with the shader, which is quite uh, higher up on the end of the spectrum. But you could use. Uh, I'm not sure now what this is. I've got the boxes right here on my desk. Um, now this is the shader. This is the box that comes in. There you go. Um, Oh, it is, there you go. It is the 4.2 stroke for the, the packer. Yeah, try it. Uh, packer I, it is not good for shading with, trust me. Try and shade with the 4.2 stroke. You'll be, uh, <laughs> you'll know what I'm saying. So there you go. 8.5 volts to 10 volts. I didn't even know that. I thought that was on the high. It's not even on the, the lower end. And that was more than enough for me. Um... But yeah, 8.5 apparently on the bottom there, you can see 8.5 volts to 10 volts is the uh, the recommended voltage for, I'll probably use 8.5, but I used eight yesterday with the shader and that was plenty for me. Um, intended for, here you go, shader wand intended for smooth, realistic black and gray shading, gentle and precise fine line work. There you go. You heard it here first. This is the little booklet it comes with. It tells you everything what about the machine, etc., etc. I've done a I've done a review on this anyway. Not a review. I've done an unpacking on this channel anyway, so you can see this in detail. You literally, I unbox everything from start to finish and tell you about it as well. Um, I'll let you know about the the liner while I'm here. Um, I buy the packer, my second machine, but I hadn't the opportunity to test it. Yeah, I wouldn't, sh I wouldn't shave with the packer to be honest, because I mean, a packer is good for lining. It's very good for lining. Um, but yeah, so here you go. So, so that, so the the liner one, you have to turn the volts down um, because it, it it's powerful hit. Here you go, six volts to eight volts recommended due to its powerful hit in red. So it's, so this is intended for line work, all types, three round liner shading, which is stippling, black work and dot work. That's it. That is it. So this is really a good packer because it packs in black very well. Um, but it does hit hard. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it is very, very hard hitting, I must say. And, um, I actually use under under as well. This is the volts of six volts to eight volts recommended due to its powerful hit. I actually used five volts for mine. Um, just because it does hit hard. Both these machines motors are very hard hitting and it and it's uh I've found, well just from experience 
I've, I've used these machines and felt them just with experience of feeling different machines and how it reacts to the uh, Brazil in the house. What's up, people from Brazil? Um, and how it reacts to the skin and stuff. And um, I've actually turned them down below the uh, recommended thing. But I'll probably use this at the at 8.5 volt, the shader. And I'll use, um, well, this at a 6, maybe. So I probably won't go above 6 because it does hit quite hard. One thing I've noticed, though, is that this doesn't, like, this one closes flat. So, see the, the gap between here and here? This closes flat. And uh, this one doesn't. I'm not sure if the rubbers come out. See what I mean? It doesn't. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if, if it ever did. But maybe I'm just, I uh, don't know. Not sure. But yeah, um, it seems all right. Come to think of it. I mean, it still works fine. So that's all that, that matters, I suppose. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick review on these tattoo machines, guys, and just basically sing their praises because I'm not going to bullshit on this channel. I'm going to say how it is. Um, I'm not going to slander anybody's company. Of course not. But um, I will like the Master Tour Pro. Um, like I said, um, I don't think it's a, a good machine. I mean, it's a cheap machine for a reason and... And that's it. Uh, we should definitely keep WLM and BLM stuff off of this channel. I don't want to get involved in a political war. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to do this. Uh, do you get a grip with it or can you change it? Yes, you can. You should, I have said it earlier on in the video, but those of you that are just... Um, those of you that are just tuning in, this is the, no the normal grip with the machine which you take off, which 